Bloody hell, that took ages to load. It's like, oh no, oh, you, you, I press start, it took ages to load up the actual fucking menu. <laughs> Stupid, okay, so we've still got plenty of cards. Yeah, so you see Bass has changed his default partner to Zack because Tina has this mysterious La Mariposa woman. Who should I be next? I will play as... Uh... Bayman. Nah, I'll be, I'll be Tina. So she has that one. She has that one. That's, that's, that's well some out of, out of Rumble Rose. I'm sure there's a character in Rumble Rose who wears that exact outfit. Uh, Catwoman. White Catwoman. And... Ooh. Yeah, I'll go with that one. I like this outfit. I say Tina's best outfit is one she has in five, as as, as like the default. I think it was a default. She at least has it on the cover. Oh fuck! He's gonna eat my soul. Arse it! Wait, what's what's she saying when she does the arse attack? Is she just saying attack? No, don't hurt me. I'm not an insolent whelp, you old man. Oh, he's fucking dead. Actually, I, th I think launch attacks uh, at a, an opponent who dodges can send you over the edge. So th I think if I did the ass attack towards Leon and he dodged, I could fall down the stairs and die. Oh, think about it. Yeah, hitting someone in the back of the head so hard they slam their head and the face into the floor and bounce. That would probably kill them. Well, unless it's a bouncy castle. But I don't think that was a bouncy castle. That would oh that would be a, uh, won't that be like an amazing um. Like stage for a fighting game, a trampoline or bouncy castle. So like, attacks that not the opponent to the floor, bounce them a lot higher, making like uh, juggles like way more of a thing. So characters who like excel with their juggles can really excel there. That'd be awesome. Why is that not a thing? I think I just about saw, saw her, her panties. I actually applaud them for not letting you move the camera vertically. But like, you, you can look vertically, but you can't like rotate the camera. So you can't do that for panty shots. I have to applaud them for that because that's an, an amazing amount of restraint from the series that gave us two Dead Alive Extreme Beach Volleyball games and a spin-off called Dead Alive Paradise. Unfortunately, Paradise will not be in this, this retrospective Let's Play. Partly because it was uh, on the PSP. I don't think there's really enough change between the DOX spin-off series and that's part of that to really justify do doing uh, that. And also, it's just, I don't know, Golden Scarab brand. That has a collectible on Ninja Guide and the Golden Scarab, and you give them to him and you get weapons. But yeah, it's on PSP, and I don't think you can get it on the Vita. If you can buy it digitally on the Vita, I could do, and use my PlayStation TV. I don't know, if it ever works out, maybe in the future. Who do you want to share this joy with? Mama. Yeah, this confirms that her mom's died. Mike. Josie. So Josie never appears. That could be an interesting character to add. Or Mike. The Dead or Alive 4. Oh, Dead or Alive 4 tournament. Like I just said, The Dead or Alive 4. Rokusta. Hello, I'm Ryu. See how, see how good this outfit is? Like, you don't need these, these shitty sex appeal outfits all the time. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, I th oh yeah, you can knock him down there. Yes, I do I d I done it. Haha. <laughs> oh shit. See, see how many fucking moves this guy has. See how much health that that took off. Oh, <laughs> I'll teach you to teleport, you bitch. <laughs> that was amazing. Uh, why can't they do more stuff like that in other games? Like, I'd love to do that to fucking Sector or Noob Cybert in, in the Mortal Kombats, who always teleport spam. And just like, I want to just like do this kind of weird flippy drop kick thing on you and eat your flesh. Well, not, not actually eat your flesh, because one of them's a robot. Kind of. Oh, you is dead, son. Just die already. Okay, that was completely unnecessary. That, that, that legs. Spread wide panty shot. Though, though I think you can pause the camera, like the the, 
the end game like uh, movie viewer or whatever. It's time to fight Shobu Shobu. Oh shit. Attack! Oh, 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 ah! Fucking... Yeah, that'll, that'll, that'll teach you. I'll show you to block my move repeatedly. And down she goes! See, if this is way 3 she would be dead by now. But she still has a chance to come back and beat me. She's gonna do that. She'll do that exact thing. I fucking told you! If they had changed this one simple mechanic, I would have won that match. But no! They have to go and change it, the piece of shit. Fuck you, Itagaki. You ruined Dead or Alive. You ruined it! You ruined it by changing one thing! Now, I, I, I kid, but really a series can be ruined by changing one thing. Like, I'm all a combat was ruined by changing the one thing of making Quan Chi the, the main fucking villain. Piece of shit. I mean, what the fuck was the point in that? Bastards. And that, that's putting me off and I'm going to lose because of Quan Chi being a fucking piece of shit that I want to just murder. I, I want to do I want to do something like that. Damn it! Right, lock me in a room with Quan Chi. Tie, make sure he's like tied to a chair so he can't get out because I don't want him actually getting out and killing me. But do that and I'll murder him so badly. I'll, tor I'll torture him to death. And that'll be amazing. And you can't, and the thing is, like, people can't even look at that and say, oh, I'm, he's some kind of psycho. He's threatening to torture people to death. Quantry's not real, so obviously it's not going to happen. All I need is MK Armageddon, and then it can, it can be me killing him with custom face letters. Yeah. Look at me. So this is meant to be her entrance. That's the thing, like, does she have entrance music? Yeah, that was her entrance music. Oh, look, she's just there. What's with the mask? You're ugly under the mask. What a basic statement. Flip! I flip through the air and you cannot stop me, Miss Tina. Let's dance. But like, what's the, what is the deal with this character? Come on. Oh, shit. Whoa. Oh, shit. Fuck. No! Don't hurt me, Miss Lee. Oh, crap. No! Stop hurting me. It's not funny. Oh, I destroyed her. Oh, yeah, mate. Wiener. I'm the greatest. And then right after that, see? It loads super quick. Tina, give up on this super dream of yours. <laughs> told you. I told us what he was going to be, be saying. Enough of this. I love how fucking... Funny how, how, how small his eyes are. How big his eyebrows and small his eyes are. I think they're trying to make him. See, yeah, they're trying to make him out to be a hypocrite. She wants. She wants to stop being a wrestler to do other things. I guess he, he don't want to stop being a wrestler, but it's like, yeah, he he's, he has these things he wants to do. But he's trying to stop her from achieving her dreams. Also, you may notice the, the big electricity things on the on the, uh, the the ring ropes aren't here anymore. I, actually, I think you can use this stage in uh, in, in survival mode. Actually, yeah, I think this is the stage for survival mode in this game. Oh, wait, the electricity's still on. That's weird. It went on a minute ago. Oh, look. Ah, oh, she's rot. She's rot. Uh... Yeah, I need to say this is, is, this is arguably not happening. It's just a, a set for a music video. With no actual. That's the thing, like, she wants to be a rock star, but she doesn't actually want to sing. You know? It's good music at least. You have to give him credit for that. I'm surprised he didn't decided not to have a sing. 
But you know, as, as pointless and like silly as the scene is, it kind of works as an ending. Because, well, this is what she's been aiming for the whole game, so she has actually she has actually achieved something by the end of it. But it's funny because you can't unlock this outfit in the game. You really should be able to. They, they did have to model all the costumes in this game, so they, they might as well just model this one in game. Also, if you if you look at her on the cover of the game on the couch, I get the start. Yeah, she, uh, it's hard to, at first I didn't even know that was Tina because she looks so different. Like, it's notable about her looks less blonde and more like just straight yellow. Whereas in a portrait, it looks kind of uh, a bit gingerish. Uh, I'm just gonna use it, uh, Lamari Post's default outfit because like. She has outfits that show her without the mask on, and I don't want to spoil it, as it were. Ha ha ha. Don't worry, I'll show her all the other outfits uh, later. Let's move to the Rhythm. I don't know, I feel like maybe, maybe the, they, want, they wanted a luchador in the game, so they decided, okay, let's make a woman. Actually, are there female luchadors, like, in real life? Because I've never heard of one. They, 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 they must be at some point. Well, I mean, if if they weren't, like, surely you get the the, the feminazis complaining. You know, they'd be like, "Oh, OMG, you have to allow women in." You know, but it, it's kind of interesting how you got a, luch, a, a luchador who is clearly not like Mexican or Spanish. She, like, she's clearly black. Like, like her skin her skin tone is very close to, to Zach's. You know, then again, you can always make the argument, well, I am the winner. The winner. One can always make the argument that, um, you know, the, the 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 Asian characters aren't Asian, they are white. I mean, look at her, Ayane, like, she's, uh, her skin's basically pink at this point. I know, it's, I know part of it's the lighting, but she does not look Asian in the slightest. I have to wonder, is, is the whole thing with anime and that, like, with, where the characters have, like, massive eyes and, like, they all look white? Is that some kind of like national jealousy of, of like the variety of white people have in like hair and eye colour? I don't know, that's just how it comes off. <laughs> this scene again. I'm gonna keep it going just to, just to see if the music does still change. And Yeah. It's not very common you actually get your your character's music playing in the fights. I just wonder if that was, that's what it was because um, I figured maybe the music only changed because uh, you're playing as La Mariposa. Oh shit! Don't kill me. But like, what's this woman's ties to Tina? Oh shit! Damn it! Fuck! Take that! Oh fuck! Oh shit! No! 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 Okay, I can, I can still do this. I can still come. No! She beat me. Oh, don't do the fucking. I know I've lost game. I will destroy you, Tina. I'm in the groove. No, don't just high counter everything I do, you bitch. Damn it. No. How is she doing this? How am I really that predictable? I think like, the reason I always things the reason I always do kicks as when it, when I'm getting up. It's because I think that's the only attack you can do when getting up. And if I don't do, if I don't get back on the offensive, then I, I feel like I'm gonna fucking lose. Damn it! I I want to get out of these moves, but the game won't let me. That's how you do it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. No, don't fucking, don't break me. Oh, what? No, 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 no. Why can't I get out of that one? No. Oh, you're fucked. S and smash into the ground. I am the wiener. How did I know she was going to say that? I mean, the lines aren't preset for each match. I just saw Nusha gonna say, I am the wiener. 
And I think she uh, in in fu in future titles when they have the English dubs, she does still say that. Oh oh shit! It's actually it's kind of, it's kind of funny how um, La Mario Post never actually uh, transitioned. Uh, or, uh, with the mask on into DOX2. She is, she is in DOX2, but she doesn't wear the mask. Which would have been funny if she had like a swimsuit where she had the mask. How funny would that have been? I mean, I know it's it'd be completely unreasonable to wear something like that while on a hot beach doing something as active as playing volleyball. Whoa! I don't know how I did that. I was just like pressing buttons. Uh, oh, how does she not get eaten by that car? I don't want the obsession with, with eating. I think it's because one time I said some uh, uh, I described um, Brock Lesnar the way he just destroyed the Undertaker as him eating him, and since then it's kind of become one of my, my default words of, of being destroyed, being eaten. She say psycho now. She call me a psycho. But she used to talk about high being manipulated into coming. That's that's inappropriate, even for this game. Let's see how long we can keep this up. Come on, he didn't counter it even once. I, 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 I was I was wondering how long it was going to take him to counter, and he never did. I am the wiener. Now you may recall that like two episodes ago, you had this scene. Ugh. I'll skip forward. Yeah, and fucking Brad Wong is like, ha ha ha, I will make my my epic appearance. And it's like, oh, the door's open and who could this mysterious man be? Oh, it's Brad Wong. What? what? No, no, what? Yeah, that's what everyone thinks. What the? Like, what the fuck was that about? So the question is, who is this mysterious masked woman? What is her connection to the, the, the door attack? Actually, I think you can get uh, get. Tech. I think when you can, I think it is possible to get get any of the costume without the mask on by pressing X after you complete it as a. Damn it! Yes, like who is this mysterious woman? What are her ties to Tina and the Doatex and Hayati and 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 the, the Bradwing? I'm like saying the Bradwing then. The Bradwing. Is that like a chicken wing? I hope not, because I don't want to eat Brad Wong. That sounds kind of gross. Ooh. Damn it, I was cut as a shot. And now I'm going to die. See how, see how much health you can take off in one go. Oh, shit. Up. See, I tried to, see, I tried to run, but it's like, no, you're facing away, so that doesn't work. Like... Why does why, why is it when you're facing away from the opponent? Unless you're playing as a character who has moves based around facing away, why would it not automatically face you towards the opponent when you press towards them? Instead of making your back slowly towards them when you take more damage from behind. Damn. That's one of the few times she's open when she does that little float thing. And I'm gonna die again, bitch. I mean, I see not much damage, but she actually does. She, but because she does moves like that all the time. And yet, even, even when she's playable, teleporting is a big part of Alpha's move set. Cunt. Damn it! How's I supposed to know she's gonna teleport the bitch? Damn it! Fucking hell. Oh, hey! 
That's how you do it, bitch. So, oh, t yeah, t t I don't think Tina can get that off in the game either. And what? Why? Why is a? This never happens in wrestling. You never get a woman versus a man. That doesn't happen. Not since like the days of China and Lita. And you know you don't really get that. But yeah, it's like. Yeah, so you got Lamari Post, she's like, haha, I'm gonna show up and say something with no subtitles so that people who don't speak Japanese don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, so she just comes storming in and just kills everyone. Do you know who they should have added to the games, actually? <clears throat> Remember Lisa from um, DOAX? Like, she really should have been made playable in these games. It's just dumb that she never was. What? It's Lisa! It was Lisa all along! Now the thing about this is that actually, um, uh, when I first played DOA 4, I had not played DOA X. I mean, I didn't play DOA X till now. I played DOA 4 first in 2006, right? Nearly 10 years ago and I finally played DOA X. I had no idea who that was. I, I didn't even know that was supposed to be a thing. I thought it was just, oh, she, that's what she looks like underneath the mask. That was as far as I knew it was supposed to go. Uh, I didn't know she, she was a. It's supposed to be a big deal. It's like, yeah, you have no idea who she is unless you play Dead or Alive Extreme Beach fucking volleyball. That one, with the, that outfit kind of makes it a bit more obvious with the hairstyle. Plus, you know, she's black and there aren't many black people in Japanese games. And there is a similar one but in a different colour. And this one, which is not wearing the mask, and this one. And I think pressing X for that one does give her a mask and the rest takes him off. And actually, yeah, you can see it says Lisa. And look, former Doha... Yeah, it, it's not explained in the game itself. You have to unlock costume full, but she was a, she's a former Doha Tech scientist who works on Project Epsilon, i.e. the attempted brainwashing of Hayate. And then she worked as like some kind of secretary for Zack, and now she's a luchador. And since this game, she's become one of the main characters of the series. Fucking what?